So the worst feeling in the world is soldering a full a full keyboard only to realize that the PCB you got was a dud. And it, you know, if you do that, you have to desolder all the switches and then send it back to the company you bought it from for either refund or replacement. And then if you get a replacement, it's probably coming from China, so it'll take another three weeks to arrive and that's not even the worst part because desoldering is the actual devil. So in order to avoid this, we can take our brand new PCB with nothing, well, no switches soldered to it. All the soldering for everything else is already done on this one. And then you, you plug it into your PC and you open some kind of keyboard tester. This one that I use is just literally the first result when you Google keyboard tester. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to take a pair of metal tweezers and you have to make sure that like, because a lot of the time with, if they have the plastic up here, you're not sure if, if both of the metal prongs are actually connected. So just make sure that, you know, because we have to use these to complete the circuit, which is what happens when you depress a switch, uh, two, two metal leaves uh, touch and it completes the circuit, uh, which tells the microcontroller where what key code to send. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each one of these through holes, except I'm going to start in the middle because it's easier to see. I'm going to go through each one of these switch through holes and we're just going to... Actually, <laughs> make sure our uh, tester window is on top. Each one of these switch through holes. I'm just going to make sure they work. I'm going to do this for every single switch. Uh, every single set of through holes on the keyboard is the switch ones and then you know that if you solder everything together and it doesn't work it's your fault 